There are times in life when the one closest to us can turn out to be a completely different person than we thought. How are we supposed to respond when the life we thought we built with someone collapses in an instant? This story is about a woman named Rebecca who was a nurse. After graduating from nursing school, she got a job as a pediatric nurse in a hospital. She loved her work very much and it also happened to pay well, so she was happy. Rebecca worked for several years and was finally able to fulfill her dream of buying a house in a gated community a few miles from Jacksonville Beach, Florida. During her nursing career, she met a nice guy who immediately won her heart with his intelligence and care. He always complimented her and gave her wonderful gifts. Every girl dreams of such a man. Unsurprisingly, Rebecca quickly fell in love with him and they moved in together. They got married and a couple of years later, they had a beautiful daughter whom they loved so much. Rebecca felt like she was in a fairy tale, living in her dream home with her dream husband, raising her beloved daughter near the beach with beautiful views of the ocean. But Rebecca's happiness was not destined to last long. One evening, when she came home from work, she found all of her belongings scattered in the yard and the door to her house was boarded up. She couldn't imagine what had happened. There was a paper posted on the door, an eviction notice for not paying the last three mortgage payments. Rebecca couldn't believe this to be true because she always gave her husband money to pay the mortgage. There was no way he would forget. Shocked and confused, Rebecca sat down on the curb and desperately tried to think about what to do next. Where could she go with her daughter? How could this happen? She started analyzing the events of the past three months. Recently, she had been so busy with work that she barely managed to get enough sleep. Then she began to remember that her husband had been acting differently lately. He stopped paying attention to her, disappearing for long periods of time. But Rebecca was so immersed in her work issues that she blamed it on her fatigue. She assumed he just didn't want to bother her and was trying to give her space to rest. However, the more she thought about it, the more she realized there must be something more to the strange absence of her husband. She decided to check his car to see if she could find answers to her questions there. It wasn't in his normal parking space, but to her surprise, she found his car on the neighboring street. Rebecca walked slowly to the car as if she was afraid of what she might find, but opening the driver's door and checking inside, she found nothing unusual. Then she walked around the back of the car to find that the trunk was not fully closed. Rebecca wondered why her husband left the car with the trunk open. Opening it further, she was shocked by what she found. In the trunk of the car, Rebecca found a large quantity of empty bottles for illegal drugs. It turned out that her husband had been taking drugs for a long time but had been carefully concealing his addiction. How could she, an experienced nurse, not see it? How had he managed to cover his addiction all this time? Apparently, her busy schedule at work and blind love for her husband allowed him to keep her in the dark for a long time. But this was not the only shock. Among the contents of the trunk, Rebecca found a bunch of receipts to credit cards issued in her name. How did he manage to collect so many loans in her name without her knowledge? Now everything began to fall into place. She recalled that lately she had been receiving a lot of calls from collectors, but her husband would always intercept them under the guise that she needed to rest and shouldn't concern herself with them. At the time, Rebecca thought it was genuine concern, but she now realized he was trying to hide the calls from her. It didn't end there. Rebecca decided to look into her husband's past, which she had never thought to do before because she sincerely trusted him. It turned out that she wasn't even his first wife. Before her, he had another wife and daughter, but he also accumulated debt in that poor woman's name as well, then simply abandoned them both. Now that all the truths had been revealed, she was eager to get an explanation from him, but he had already left, abandoning both her and their daughter. Rebecca was left alone with her little daughter with nowhere to go and nothing to eat. They checked into a small motel where they had to live for a while, but Rebecca calculated that her salary wouldn't be enough to cover their expenses, plus all the debts left by her husband. So Rebecca decided to move in with her parents in Tennessee in order to save on housing costs. She really didn't want to return home and was ashamed that she had to live in the room where she grew up, but she didn't have a choice. Fortunately, her parents did not blame her for falling for a swindler. Rebecca had to get another job to cover all their expenses and loans. Now she spent even more time at work and had no time for a personal life, not that she was interested in dating because she was so afraid of being fooled again. But once she was finally tired of being lonely, Rebecca asked a childhood friend to introduce her to someone. 
It was more of a joke, but her friend took it upon herself to set her up with a single father named Stephen. As a precaution, Rebecca found his Facebook page and studied it thoroughly. It turned out that he had a daughter that was the same age as her own daughter. After making sure he could be trusted, Rebecca decided to meet him. It turned out that they had a lot in common. Their friendship grew into a romance, and it didn't take long for Stephen to propose to Rebecca. Now Rebecca's life finally began to improve. Stephen was not afraid of her debt, but actually helped her pay it all off. So the situation that knocked Rebecca down eventually brought her true happiness. What do you think about this story? Share your opinion in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed the story and subscribe to the channel because we have many more interesting stories for you.